I'll take that. Um, thanks, Katrina. Um, my commitment to the cancer services has been from the very beginning. Uh, many years ago, a number of us stood um, during the visit of a minister to the hospital, and at that time, the Gardaí were called to remove us. I don't know if many people remember that, but I was there that day. And to answer your question, uh, I definitely would not stay or be part of any government if that commitment was not uh, met in this area. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm unlikely to be in government. It's my intention. If, in the unlikely event, Fianna Fáil are in government and I'm a minister, uh, it will be. So it won't arise. It will be in the programme of government. I have given a public pledge today. I've given it on previous occasions. I give it again. I will do everything I can in my power with the Labour Party to keep the pledge that Eamon Gilmore has made today. And if that pledge is broken, I will resign. Yeah. Um, Retention of Cancer Care Services for Sligo. Uh, I am very passionate about it. Yeah. I am very, very strong on this. And uh, as an independent, if I have an opportunity to have a position of power with Fine Gael in the next doll, it will be part of the programme because I will not go into any room with anybody Great. unless it's there. And that's, that's it. Great. End of story. Yes, um, certainly as, as Katrina and the, the committee know, I've been a member of that committee for the last couple of years. I've lobbied, I have been um, actively involved, uh, attending meetings and indeed to various uh, delegations um, over the last two and a half years. And Kieran, I certainly, uh, we've, got, um, we've got a commitment um, from our health spokesperson, Dr. James Riley, uh, spokesman for health, and uh, hopefully this man will be Minister for um, Health in, in the next government. And I certainly, uh, this man uh, has given a commitment, and I honestly believe that we're uh, a, a party of credibility, and we will certainly honour the commitment that we have given. Well, what happened when we seen when the two DDs resigned from Fianna Fáil, and we seen what happened in relation to it, James? Resign your seat. The parliamentary party, yes, yeah, yes. Resign your seat, but from not your whip. From within the party. Resign your seat or the whip, which? No. Does it have to be strong? I should like, uh, Katrina's asked, just re refresh the question again. If the restoration is not included in the first program for government, will you resign your seat? Katrina, there'll be no, be no need, um, if elected, and if any gear are in power, there'll be no need for me to, to uh, resign my seat because the, the services will be in place. And I'm, I'm given that um, guarantee that I have got. It's on the record. Yes. It's, it's on the record. So, Absolutely. It's, it's been reported here tonight. Not one yes. iota, there's not one cough has been missed. Yes. So you'll be able to look back and see exactly what everybody said. In fact, you can see what every TD said in their speech as well tomorrow morning on the big ticket uh, um, The cancer service people, I think, uh, are well aware of my commitment to this um, from day one. If you and partnership are going in to support the government and you were one of the independents and it didn't happen, would you resign? I think it was mentioned here tonight already that um, independence, what we're going to be is the conscience and the moral guidance for the next government. And the cancer services is clearly a mor uh, an immoral decision that was made. And definitely, if that does not happen, um, I think Fine Gael have said within 100 days, and I was part of that government, of course I would resign my seat, because that's the moral and right thing to do. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, 
Well, I would actually be, I'd be a supporter of a left-led government, and uh, clearly in that context, I would make it a precondition of supporting that government that the cancer services would be restored. And can I just say, you know, you, you say this is all being recorded, and that's very well, and the pledges are being recorded, but I see some people in, in, in the audience here, uh, you know, the, 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 they're, I think they're wary of the political promises and pledges, because last year, a number of politicians here not only gave pledges, but actually signed the pledge for a particular community and did the opposite after signing it. So um, it's, it's just a point to make. Well, you see, the difference is I'm standing for election because I have no political baggage. I don't make promises unless I mean to keep them. And I am making this promise and I mean to keep it. And I have a track record for honesty and integrity as a journalist standing up for what's right and for what's true. So if I make my pledge here today, and I have and I do, I will keep it. John Perry. As uh, Councillor Lachlan stated, this is a political commitment. It's even stronger than a pledge. We haven't seen very clearly that Dr. Riley will be the next Minister for Health, and the Kenny will be the next Taoiseach. Having spoken to both of them today, who was, it was stated quite categorically in, in government, there's no uh, ambiguity whatever about this, none whatever. The services, and the cancer at satellite facility and the services that were removed from Slider General Hospital will be will be returned. And you you're you're, you're saying what did you ask? You you put your own career on the line. I have no difficulty with ever doing that, because uh, but I, I, I can assure you, because uh, on the last occasion, and I'll be very clear about this, on the last occasion, when this came up from, from the issue, the previous uh, the deputies and companies of office, we resigned the parliamentary whip and still vote on every other issue. I certainly will resign uh, from Fine Gael if that committee is not on but I have no need. I have no need to, do, I can assure you, this is no caveat in this. Because I don't do double speak, whatever. And anybody that knows John Perry and his track record in Dáil Éireann, or what I state quite categorically, and anybody can, would I assure you, and I know that only two what I'm saying, having supported him to Kenny right through from the leadership, and he would be the next Taoiseach, and Dr. Riley, who, is a, who worked in inside the hospital as a GP, who knows the system, he has given me a commitment. This service, a satellite facility, will be returned to Slido General Hospital, and not alone that. This hospital will be upgraded as a regional hospital servicing 250,000 people, not alone in cancer, but in the whole cardiac, okay. orthopedic. No, is this important? Because no, uh, well, hey, this hospital, if you go to Sligo General Hospital at the moment, it's it, it, this, no, that's fine. You've answered the question, which is brilliant. Yeah. It, it, it's on record. Mark, do you, think, do you consider it important enough that there's resigning matter? How many times do you want me to answer the question? I, I, I'd like to answer the question. As I said, as I said, I was the second person to answer the question in case yeah. you It won't arise if I am in uh, if I am in government. If I am in government, it won't arise because I've been on the front bench and I'll ensure it's done. And I already said in the earlier contribution that if in opposition, which is most likely if elected, I will support Labour or Fine Gael if either it's a centre of excellence or satellite service provided the services return. Now, whatever way that jumble works out in the context of the negotiations and when they've shared out the ministries, uh, but I will support that. And I reiterate the fact that regardless of the party political people here who may doubt my personal commitment, I started this campaign. And throughout the campaign, when a different angle of attack was required, including researching Northern British Columbia and what they were doing there, or taking, or taking HICWA and the HSE all the way to the Ombudsman, that was open to anybody up here to do. But it was me who did it. How, how did you vote? Sherry, how did you vote? Just, um, I'd like to just make it quite clear. You know how I vote. I and vote. I would vote against a Mickey Mouse motion planning to put services in every corner of the country. It is not realistic. You have to learn it when you're in government. But there was a case for was the North West, was Sligo, and that's the case. And I'd vote against that motion again tomorrow. Okay. Uh, as I said in my opening address in the three-minute speech, that 
I'm totally committed to the rest of it. I would resign myself, absolutely. But I'd like to point out to the audience here tonight that there's two options facing the people. Uh, a Fine Gael Labour government or a Fine Gael supporter of independence. And if Labour goes into government with Fine Gael, it won't last like the last Labour that pulled out of two years. But there will be independence, not like Jackie Healy either, that has a social conscience for the betterment of the whole country that will stand up and support a government for a five year plan as long as the council service is in it. Yes. That's it, yes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Sinn Féin's commitment to the restoration of full cancer services, the Sligo General Hospital, will be a centre of excellence, is very clear and cannot be changed. I propose at the Ardesh, at an Ardesh, the highest policy making platform of our party, that and all of the de delegates from all over the country passed unanimously the motion that full cancer services would be returned to Stanford General Hospital. If Sinn Féin were to contemplate entering a government with a program of work that did not include a time-bounded commitment to the restoration of cancer services, I would not, I would not have my seat. I would not hold my seat. No, uh, no, actually, I am the one person who uh, disagrees with everyone because we uh, backed the cancer strategy, the eight centres of excellence. We're on record uh, since 2008 on that issue, and I also stated on the radio yesterday. I'm really saddened that people are leaving tonight hostages to fortune. Um, Chairman, when we came here this evening, you said, listen, we're going to really concentrate on issues of national interest, and we have spent more time dealing with this local issue. Um, it's not a local issue. It's a life well, and death issue. I, I, I do mean it with no... It says, no, I have answered the question. It's a word. Could I just well, add a point of information? I'd like, it, yeah. absolutely. It was part of the national strategy that it's went wrong. I would just like to add a point of information here. Um, British Columbia, where Tom Keane had worked. I went back and spoke to the people in British Columbia last summer. And what did I discover? That when they made their plan and had their centres of excellence, they made an error. They had to build a new centre of excellence where? In the northwest of British Columbia. And we never heard Tom Keane say anything about that. Why did they do it? Because the outcomes of patients who were travelling long distances in that country to get to the south, they had a line too. They were falling, the outcomes. And they realised the error of their ways and they said, we will build another centre of excellence. So uh, Tom Keane never mentioned that. Mark McSharry brought that into the public domain first. And don't ever forget that. Long before, long before you were even involved in the campaign, which are pink bra outside Leinster House, let me tell you, it was me, it was me who researched the fact that in Prince George they brought, uh, they were building a new centre for radiotherapy. It was me. So as much as you might like to hijack policy, Please don't insult the women of this constituency. Oh, it, it was me who did it. Me. Yeah. Or the men. It doesn't matter. Or the men. Kieran, 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 Kieran. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Mark, you're way out of order. What are you are way out of order what you've said there. And I was a woman, I, I, I'm saying to you, you should apologise for your remarks. Well, I'm you have just to apologise. You have to apologise. You know what you said apologize. yourself. I do not apologise for standing up to myself in saying that it was me who researched the fact that Prince George had a cancer surgery and announced it at the time and changed the angle of attack of the campaign. Indeed, it was me who went through two years to try and bring them to the Ombudsman, and any objective analysis of that will show my commitment to that campaign, which culminated in using my own mother's funeral to promote it. So I, in, in fairness to anybody who wishes to continue to heckle me, I can tell you the commitment of me and my family cannot be questioned on this issue. Here.
Sorry, Karen. Karen. Sorry, Karen. Just.